So this is going to be the uh, damage test for my calculator with uh, Fischl. And then I think I'm going to do one with Klee and that'll probably be enough. I could pro I'll test it out more afterwards, but I think this will be enough of a basis. So when I hit this guy. Um, so what we're looking at is the first number. There, it's the 274. It's a little bit hard to see, but um, the second number is due to her constellation. I'm just going to bring them all over here. And I hit this guy because he doesn't have a shield. So 274 um, is a non-critical hit, and I think 4... 411 seems like a critical hit, although I don't, I have very little crit rate here. So you can see it's a consistent 274 and then a 411, yeah, for a crit hit. So I'm gonna basically swap over to my um, calculator, the code that um, I'm running just to show that we are getting this number and we are getting 411 when we do a crit. So this is the stuff we did for the facial test, and basically you could get the attack um, very similarly. For our intensive purposes, I'm just going to sort of um, put Fischl's base attack that you can read right off of the screen, and that is just the result of that formula I had before up there, um, just to make this a little bit easier for me. But basically here, I could use uh, the base attack from here and all of that, but I'm just going to throw that attack in. What's important for Fischl is her level, which is 70, her crit rate is 5%, crit damage is 50%, I literally have none of that on her, because um, she's just a support and all she does for me is like react, basically. And then the enemy is the same enemy, uh, the base attack here, that's already included, and there wasn't really anything else, there wasn't, this was all the crit rate, crit damage, there was not any elemental bonus because we were just firing a single physical shot arrow, that's it. Um, so if we run this, assuming that nothing's too messed up, so we can see that the numbers here are very nice, so it's literally um, 274, which is exactly the number we saw, and 411, which is also the number that we saw. So here we're perfectly accurate, I'd say, more or less, give or take, because these numbers are smaller. So, you know, 99% error, something like that, it's not so bad. Um, also, the Klee's, uh damage calculation had some more, like, effect, uh, elemental bonuses to consider. Okay, so now we're just going to test out uh, with Klee. So we're going to, she's got a Lava Walker set, so we need to account for Pyro bonus damage. Um, so I'm just going to basically set Klee, I'm going to set these guys on fire or give them the pyro debuff. So that's the first number. That's a crit. So she has a lot of crit rate and pretty high crit damage. Uh, I lost the debuff. So that's not good, but we're going to... Maybe I'll just burn away these guys' shields. Alright, so they're all on fire now. Okay. So that's the crit on fire. That's a crit. 1426 is not a crit. That's another crit. Uh, I don't know what the 2900 was. That's a crit. 1426 is not a crit. So we want to see 1426 and. 3,565. So let's go see if uh, the pro, oops, the program will show that. So also I'm just going to show quickly my stats for Klee and where I'm going to be getting all of the numbers from. So basically her, okay, so here are the values that I used to predict Klee's damage output. So I'll quickly run through them. Um, I put some of the elemental bonuses that would have been coming from the weapon or the artifact just into this one spot to make it a little bit easier for me. But for the rest of the um, videos where I do actually damage calculations, I'll be pulling them from a spreadsheet or a CSV file that's kind of being like brought into my code and it's kind of being like pulled through everything over there.
basically my Cleese level is 76 and then our base attack is this um, crit rate is as such crit damage is as such so this would be coming from substats and so basically 50% um, is given to her normally then the rest is substats and then 55% here is given as her weapon substat um, the elemental bonus is given by pyro cup this is the lava walker set effect which I was using in the video um, so that's giving me a 35% elemental bonus buff and then this is her natural substat, which is 21% pyro damage. Yeah, and then here we can see the enemies um, kind of stats, which is their resistance, their level, which is a hilly churl level 70. Um, and then the weapon that I was using has some stuff here, or its base attack. I've got some of these zero, but this will all be like sort of correct in the spreadsheets that I use for the other calculations. And then here I'm just uh, sticking in the attack bonus off the artifacts. This is a substat attack percent bonus, and this is the main stat attack percent bonus. So some of these are kind of grouped up together, but that's just for kind of testing purposes and putting it in. So then I uh, throw all of these classes into my damage, cal uh, damage output function inside of my calculator. And I also pass it the skill multiplier which is for her first throwing skill at level 6 which is 1.08 or like 108 percent then if we go into the calculator then it all drops into this function here so it's all passed in through here and I've got some variables up there but then basically this is how the damage is calculated these are the um, flat attack and these are the other values that are pulled that we just talked about from the character class and the weapon class and then other weapon and character objects and then basically here's how you get the elemental bonus you can kind of like look through this I'm not really gonna go too much but this is just basically the damage calculation for it so I just pull all of these values through and um, if I run this then we could see that the numbers that I end up with are here on the console and these are 1423 and we, if we remember, I was getting 1,426, so that's pretty close, it's like 99% accurate. And then 3,557, or 58, uh, for the crit, for a crit hit, and that's very close, I think. We had 3,565, so we're only about uh, 7 off or something, so it's actually pretty close. So these are like 90% accurate, I think the error in these is due to the uh, decimals kind of error being dragged through all of these calculations and as the numbers are bigger I assume that the error is going to be bigger so it should be you know approximately correct and probably like 99 so far definitely above 95 percent correct and let's go and look at basically the facial so this is sort of how it works um, I'll make another video where I actually go through all of my code right now I have like it's a little bit ugly there's a, like a way too much stuff in the main class I really need to like move it around and make it I'd say more presentable but um basically this is um yeah basically here I'm gonna talk about how I actually get my stuff in so basically I use an input file here so I was just testing some other stuff here with the Totaglia but basically I put these inputs in which are basically the character name the level the uh, skill multiplier just identifying basically which skill we're using um, the enemy the enemy level which weapon we use and then the level of that weapon um, and then this is just going to be a physical damage kind of check and I have not incorporated that yet and I will do that at some other point in time in the future but basically we take all of that and it's basically um, it's basically fed into my program which will then use all of that information in order to find these values from these tables which I've already exported as CSV files and kind of save them under the directory or whatever um, and it'll go find the correct um, like enemy here and then it'll pick off the correct uh, based on the type of the attack so if it's a pyro attack it'll go and select the correct uh, resistance here for the enemy and then it's got the characters 
So I've got everything for level 80 not ascended and then level 90 fully maxed out, you know, um, everything. Because I feel like a lot of us kind of can make it to level 80 usually with our main DPS or somewhat close. And then honestly, in like a year, we're all going to have people at level 90. So this is the more important one. But a lot of us are here. And if you're, you know, getting into it, it'll take a little while to get up to here or past here. But there's way too much info to kind of do every single level, and I could even like interpolate it, but that's way too much work. I don't feel like doing that. Um, and then basically the weapons here, same story, I'm doing them at level 80, level 90. I've made a lot of assumptions here, um, so I'm going to have to just make sure I ch recheck all of them. I might make a lot of mistakes because I had to um, you know, manually, Im manually input all of this and make a lot of assumptions on the effects and kind of average them out to what I think they would kind of be at like like a steady state or like a long term kind of duration if that makes sense um, you know because some stack some like last only 8 or 30 seconds some are like the wid sith which give you literally like three effects and they only last like a 30% of the time that you can reactivate them again so it's like a little bit all complicated but um, Definitely when I do the spears, I'm going to talk about all of these in kind of individually. And basically we can get a good estimation for how they all kind of um, line up with each other, you know, as a comparison. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of that. I'll go more over the code um, in a different video once it's more presentable. But I just wanted to make this video mostly to show that the formula is working for me to some degree of accuracy and so the next few videos that I'm going to make are assuming off of this. I am going to try to make as few mistakes as I can. Um, sometimes like if a physical damage bonus multiplier might get mixed in that might be annoying. Uh, for some of the stuff like the Crescent Pike I'll actually have to take the output number and change it up a little bit because the effect bonus is actually applied like completely at the end and so you can add that on I think because it basically does a second hit um, and it's it's kind of uh, annoying so I'm gonna go work through all of that and yeah hopefully this kind of gave you some a little bit of insight into how I got these numbers and you can look forward to the uh, coding one that I'll make eventually but probably not in the near future so you'll have to live with this for now <laughs> um, but yeah if you like uh, this video I guess subscribe this one is kind of long I'm gonna have to cut it but yeah.